Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called factoring out a constant before factoring a quadratic. So we have two pieces here for the instructions. First factoring out a constant and then we're also asked to factor the quadratic that remains. Looking at this example we have 5v squared plus 45v plus 100 and starting with the first part, factoring out a constant. The coefficients for each one of these terms are 5, 45, and 100. So I want to factor out the largest number that will divide evenly into each one of those three numbers. And 5, 45, and 100 are all divisible by 5. So I'm going to put the 5 that I'm factoring out outside and we just have to find out what's left once we factor the 5 out. And factoring out that 5 has the effect of dividing each one of the terms by 5. And I'll show you afterwards what that does. So the first term, when you divide by 5, the 5's are going to cancel and I'll be left with just v squared. In the second term, 5 goes into 45 nine times, so nine times v is a plus nine v. And then from the third term, 100 divided by five, five goes into 120 times, so plus 20. So at this point, we've done the first step. We have factored out the largest constant that we could. But before I continue, I'm just gonna double check this real quick and confirm. When I multiply 5 times v, I do get the original 5v squared. And when I multiply 5 times 9v, 5 times 9 is 45. The v is still there. That's the 45v. And then distributing 5 times 20 would be 100. So my factoring checks out. So now I'm going to move to the second part, which is to factor the quadratic. So now we have to factor this quadratic that resulted once we factored out the constant. And since this has a leading coefficient of 1, it's not going to be too bad to factor. I want to make sure that I remember that that 5 is still outside. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back out there and leave it out there. But I'm going to factor the v squared plus 9v plus 20 into two terms being multiplied. And since this is a v squared, it has to be v and v. And then I'm going to look at my factors of 20. For these two numbers to multiply and give me 20, it would either have to be a 1 and a 20, a 2 and a 10, or a 4 and a 5. Those are all of the possible numbers that would multiply to give me 20, but I also need them to add up to 9. So the combination that works is the 4 and 5, because if I put our 4 and 5 in here, then in order to get a positive 20 when I multiply, the signs have to be the same, but in order for them to add up to that 9v, they have to be a plus 4 and a plus 5. So just checking that by foiling, if we multiply v times v, that would give me the v squared. And then on the outside, I have a 5v. And on the inside, I have a 4v. Both of those are positive. Adding them up does give me the 9v. So that part checks. And then lastly, positive 4 times a positive 5 does give me the 20. So we have checked our answer and factored out both the constant and the quadratic. 